regulators. We regulate any stealing of his property. We're damn good, too. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steal if you know what I mean. Earn your keep. Regulator! Hey guys, Chris Flores here, Flow Fitness, and welcome to this week's Chalk Talk. Uh, you saw the saying before, I had put that on Facebook and got a lot of comments, so I kind of want to talk about it a little today and what that whole saying, how it came about and everything like that. But first, I got to thank my boy Johnny Rodriguez, Mr. Dominicano from, uh, from Mount Clare State University for hooking me up. I got to present to over 90 students at the Athletic Training Society of New Jersey uh, this past weekend. They gave me a little award. You probably saw it on Facebook. You know, they hooked me up. So I want to thank Johnny for that and give me the opportunity to talk about suspension training and rehab. And it's something I've been doing for the past four years, but to finally get to talk about it and you know, share it with the young college students was an honor. So thanks a lot. How this whole saying that I put up started, and basically it was when I was about to present, I was starting to think about the night before, thinking about different things and how I got to that point to be able to present to these students and was I deserving of that opportunity to actually talk to them. And, and I reached a point in my life where I realized now it's a turning point. You know, now it's no more talking about wanting to present, talking about wanting to do things, now it's time to do it. You gotta realize in yourself that you're good enough to, that you've earned this position to be able to do these things. So first point today, point number one, earn your position. A lot of people I speak to, whether it be personal trainers or athletic trainers or different people saying, hey man, I wanna do this, I wanna go up here, I wanna do this. they wanna be at this level, but they haven't earned it yet. Talk to anybody successful. Talk to all the successful trainers, strength and conditioning coaches, chiropractors, physical therapists, all the people that are top of their game, ask them where they started at. You know, people have a misconception that where you are is where you've always been, and that's not the case. You have to slowly get your way up step by step by step. So you have to earn your position. You know, if they would let me present on TRX Rehab four years ago, I would have been able to do it, but would have done it with the same kind of confidence, with the same kind of knowledge from doing it for the past four years. No, I know you guys have heard this before, but things in life don't happen when you want them to happen. They happen when they're supposed to happen. So again, if I would have presented back then on rehab or whatever it is, I probably would not have been the same kind of person I am today and been able to give give more of my knowledge, give more of my experience, and it happened when it was supposed to happen. This was the time for me to actually be able to present. point for today was be prepared for success. All right, you got to be prepared for it. Everybody says they want something, but they're not prepared for it. See, once they said, hey, do you want to present? I was like, hmm, all right, I'm prepared for it. I, you know, I got TRX sent me the, the S-frame, so I want to thank them for that. I had six or seven TRXs already, so I was able to put those up. I was prepared for this level. I was prepared for this time to present. So what do I mean by being prepared? Well, I got a lot of trainers saying, hey, I wish I had X amount of clients. If I had 20 clients, I'd be good. Are you prepared to deal with 20 clients? You probably can't even deal with the 10 to 15 you have now. What are you going to do with five more? Can you actually physically train all these people? Are you prepared for that number of people or those number of people to come in? I actually went to uh, saw Boyle's place out in Boston. They have like 500 sessions they do a day, but they was prepared for that number of people. If 500 kids or 500 athletes came to your facility today and said they want to train today, would you be able to house all those people? Would you be able to do it? Are you prepared for that success? I actually have a client of mine, it's a funny story, he actually has a map out of what he's going to do once he wins the lottery. So he has a map of where all his money is going to go. So he's prepared for that success. If he does win the lottery one day, he'll know exactly what to do. Are you prepared for the success you want? I want to go back to this whole part of earning your position. And I hate to, I'm not jumping on the bandwagon of Jeremy Lin. I'm not, believe me, trust me, I'm just happy the Knicks are actually winning games again. But what I want to say is he earned his position. Once you get to that position, did you earn it? Did he work hard in practice? I'm sure the guy put time and time and time in the gym, shooting shots, doing his layups, doing his drills over and over again. So he earned that position. And once he got to that position, he was prepared for the success. That's why he's been able to excel that position. Can he maintain it? That's yet to see. But the whole point is that he earned the position, he was prepared for the success, and then he got his chance. And look, like Eminem said, you got one shot, don't miss your chance. You have it at this week's Chalk Talk. Remember, two points to take home. Earn your position and be prepared for success. I want to thank the Mount Clare State University students for giving me the opportunity to present. And I'll see you guys next week for more Chalk Talk. It was a clear black night, a clear white moon. Warren G was on the streets trying to consume some skirts for the E so I could get some phones rolling in my ride. Chilling all alone. Just hit the